Wow, this is crazy. Tell everyone where we are. Greetings internet, welcome back to another vlog on my channel. We are actually, interestingly enough, starting this vlog at nighttime in the PM versus the AM like I usually do. I'm not sure why that is, it just felt right. Because tonight I'm going to a fabulous party and I thought I'd show you guys what I'm wearing and bring you guys along of course. But as you can see, my little vignette over here uh, some flowers. Jack got me these last night for our six month anniversary. Can you believe it? Six months we've been dating. I mean, it feels like a long time, but also not a long time. Like, I feel like I've known him forever, but it also, like, six months just like flew in a blink of an eye. Six months since July. Like, that is just bonkers to me. Anyway, so last night was our anniversary, six months. I know not everyone celebrates their six month anniversary. Some people might think it's silly to celebrate a six month anniversary, but I don't care because it was a cute night. We went to dinner at this place, Joseph Leonard's in West Village, which is actually the place where Jack told me that he loved me for the first time. I said it back, don't worry. So Jack booked a reservation. He did so much and I feel kind of bad. I didn't really do that much. He got me flowers booked the res and got me a gift, like a very thoughtful photo album that is over there on the couch. And he like printed out all these pictures of us and taped them to the pages, like taped them, wait, I'm explaining this terribly. He printed out one picture for each month we've been together and like wrote the date and put it, like taped it to a page with space around it so I can write my own stuff, like my own memories and things. Anyway, sorry, my brain is like not functioning. I need to eat dinner. <laughs> We're going to Soho House for dinner, Danielle, and Cass and I, and then we're meeting up with Brooke and a bunch of other people at this fabulous party at the Whitney Museum tonight with Cynthia Rowley. I'm wearing a Cynthia Rowley sparkly number as we speak. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna jet, and I'll film some clips of the party. Okay guys, back from the Whitney art party. They actually gave us all these um, little Aesop lip balms on the way out, which was so nice. So yeah, that was the night and I'm glad that I went, but I will say I thought I'd gotten over this situation or this state of being in college, but I don't think I have. Like I relentlessly compare myself when I'm at these things. And I don't know why, but especially at fashion, events i do it like 10 times more i'm comparing my body to other people's bodies i'm comparing my outfit i'm comparing if i know them more personally or like i've seen them on social media i'm comparing our following numbers and i like don't want to sound like i'm like this insanely like analytical person that can't let go and can't have a good time i don't know what it is because I, I really am not usually like this like on a normal night out with like my friends i don't feel like I'm like this, but when it comes to, I think it's like just this deep seated insecurity that I've always had. And I just, the comparison is just relentless. Like I, I like beg myself to turn it off, but I can't. And although like I did have a good time, I, I just don't thrive in those settings. I don't thrive in those settings, but it's interesting because it's like, you know, of course the industry that I'm in we don't have coworkers, traditional coworkers, so you have to get out there and like go to events and like mingle. But I'm just like, I get so anxious. <sighs> anyway, that's just me being honest and telling you guys how I feel because I don't want to be a sugar coater. I'm not a sugar coater, okay? I used to be, I have been in the past, but I'm not a sugar coater. I'm gonna change out of this sparkly dress, but I actually think I'm going to do like a 30 minute set my phone alarm, 30 minute clean of the apartment because it's just, I let it go. It, things have gotten out of control. My kitchen is horrendous. 
So I'm going to unload the dishwasher, run the dishwasher, and then I'm going to have a nice slumber and the anxiety will fade away and tomorrow is a brand new special day. Okay. Hello everyone, it is Wednesday. It is also freezing. I'm walking from Soho back home. Sorry if it's super loud. This is like the loudest street in New York behind me right now. So I was over on Elizabeth Street. My friend Abby has this homeware store called Abode where she sells a bunch of different things like vintage and like, and she just, in the past few months, I think, expanded her embroidery business. So she's doing a bunch of embroidery work on literally anything you want. And so she told me that I could come in, write something on a piece of paper, or literally take like a lipstick print of mine and she can embroider it. So I'm working on something for Jack for Valentine's Day, or I might be terrible and give it to him before <laughs> because I can't wait. So I'm getting something embroidered on the sleeve of a sweatshirt that I bought for him. And so yeah, I'm very excited about that, but I'm heading home now. I guess what else did I do today? This morning, I got laser hair removal. I've done a lot of walking today. I think I've probably got my, definitely my 10,000 steps of the day. Cause I walked to and from laser and then to and from abode. Anyway, I'm walking home now. I'm gonna finish up some work on the Patreon wallpapers for February. You guys know I design wallpapers for tablet, for phone and for computer every month on my Patreon. So I'm wrapping that up and then just some other work recording the podcast tonight. I'm gonna get myself a fun little coffee on my way back. I'm nearly to a good coffee shop. And then finish up work for the day. And that's it. Hello, you guys. I am wearing an interesting frock here. Wearing red tonight. I'm going on a little pasta date with Jack. And we're going actually to Nordstrom Cafe. It's called Genie's. And we're going there. I mean, I love a Nordstrom Cafe have always loved Nordstrom Cafe. Barilla, this pasta brand that I collaborate with, has released their heart-shaped pasta again, re-released it for the season because it's about to be Valentine's Day. So they've re-released their pasta, heart-shaped pasta, and it's only available at select Nordstrom Cafe locations. So that is why I'm headed uptown and Jack is coming with me. And I thought I'd wear red for the occasion because it's a Valentine's Day activation. I'm gonna film a little reel while I'm there and some stories probably. And yeah, oh my God, everyone's getting home right now. This is like the time everyone gets home and they slam their doors. My go-to red lip liner and lip stain. What is this? No, it's not a lip stain. It's like a lip, liquid lip combo. So I use the Too Faced Lady Bold lip liner and it lasts, I swear, 24 hours. Like if I wanted it to last 24 hours, it would. This lip liner is serious. And then I use the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in Bang Bang, which is a funny name. Um, so I always do the liner first. Yeah, this is like my foolproof, will not budge red lip. That is perfect for eating. <laughs> Okay, so the red lip is lipping. I feel like the hair and red dress combo is giving Snow White, <laughs> oddly. I don't know if Snow White even wears red, but it's just like giving Snow White and the apple vibes. Tomorrow, oh, tomorrow I'm doing something really cool. Jack and I and Jack's brother and their friend. So we're going to Hudson Valley, actually, because Jack's Jack and his brother have a friend who has a house in, I literally just forgot, Hudson Valley, they have a house in Hudson Valley, or he has a house in Hudson Valley, and we're gonna go up there this weekend, all of us, and it's gonna be fun, Katie and the boys. <laughs> so I'll bring the camera, I'll bring you guys with me as much as I can because I anticipate it to be a booze-filled weekend. Um, but apparently the house is gorgeous. Jack has been dying to show me this house, so it's gonna be fun and very cool to go up there with the squad. We're gonna go out one night at a Ness, which is this like luxury, um, I don't wanna call it a resort, but they have like different like houses and lodging options there, but it's like very chic like, cabin style. So that's nearby. So we're gonna go there for a 
what is it? Apre ski party? So I'm gonna bring you guys along on that journey. So anyway, <laughs> gonna eat some pasta and focus on that for now. Um, I guess, yeah, outfit details. My dress is from this brand called C, S-E-A. And these earrings are J. Crew, little hearts. And yeah, that's that. All right, Jack is gonna be here any minute and we're gonna go. What you doing over here? Sign of getting old. I haven't had a drink yet, I'm behaving myself, but energy. <laughs> They're electrolyte tablets that I am. I've, I've got back pain, I drink electrolytes before <laughs> dinner. I mean, they're so good. They're called Noons, and Colby put me onto them, but they taste so good, and they actually are like pretty fast acting. I feel like they just give you like a little boost of energy, and obviously hydration. It like hydrates you better than water alone. It tastes good as well. Yeah, it tastes really good. Anyway, we're gonna chug some noons and then go to dinner. Wow, this is crazy. Tell everyone where we are. We're at my friend Guy's house upstate, Accord. Couldn't tell you exactly where in New York it is, but it's like an hour and a half drive from the city. Yeah. And yeah, we're gonna have a fun weekend. And we're in this gorgeous house. It's incredible. Yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad. I'll definitely get some videos of like the daytime because these windows are insane. But I want you to give them a tour. Yeah, this is Katie's first time here. She's been invited <laughs> on a boys weekend. Yeah, I don't know if I'll survive so, it. So, <laughs> yeah, the lug nuts. To be explained later. Yeah, you'll have to explain to what that To be explained means. later. But yeah, I'm on the boys' trip. Guy and Dan, Jack's brother, just went out to go get groceries for our dinner. We're going to do a dinner. But in the meantime, I was like, well, you should probably show the vlog where we are. Yeah. Because... Right. Get your announcing voice on. We'll go to the room we're staying in. Yep. It's just crazy to have this much space. Yeah, the ba bathroom one is bigger than my apartment. Yeah, this basically. bathroom is just... Massive, like you have a tub and a shower. We're gonna be resting our heads in here. Again, it'll be cool tomorrow to see like the view and stuff. Yeah. But the sun's gone down. Like check that out, the high ceilings, the art. We have a gong. A gong. <laughs> I have to get Guy doing the gong. <laughs> More of that later. Welcome to the house tour. Um, <laughs> fire pit we're gonna burn a lot of wood tonight yeah and watch some movies oh my god it's just incredible i feel like you're on arch digest <laughs> you're like welcome to my home i wish i knew what that was <laughs> oh you don't even know what arch digest is oh my god i have to educate you kitchen big old kitchen yeah it's just crazy how much counter space like i would die for this counter space we have we're some whip up some skirt steak tonight so a little before and after, but... Got the goods. And I have Guy's famous broccolini later. Guy made us martinis as soon as we walked in the door. I should have gotten a video of it, but... We'll leave upstairs is private. We'll leave the bedrooms, but I'm going to take you to my favorite place, <laughs> the sub, short for the subterranean. Oh my God. Like, Let me just grab my wine. When Jack and I first started dating, I remember you like mentioned the sub, and I was like, the sub? Like what? Like submarine? Like... And he would talk about this house so much. And you'd come over and we'd have like the guitar set up. Yeah, house. yeah, because his brother, I mean, you do the percussion, you still you still participate, but his brother like plays the guitar, Guy plays multiple Dan instruments. Dan and Guy are good, they're good. I basically, so the band is called the Lugnuts, and- There's we, a story behind get, that. We get but. to that another time, but <laughs> I'm musically challenged. Downstairs is where the magic happens. Yeah, like I remember you telling me about like showing me pictures and it's crazy seeing it in real life. It's our recording studio. Yeah. Um, sauna in there, bathroom. Just a casual sauna. And then... Like, right there. Crazy. The sub. <laughs> Welcome to the sub, where we'll be spending the entire weekend probably because just like, come on. What's your Maybe. favorite part? What's your favorite part? Uh, the bar. The bar? The bar. <laughs> Yeah. The, the boys obviously they love their the amps and the guitars. Shout out Dan's the white axe. 
nice. Cheeky little Fender Stratocaster. And then there's New music people. some really great it. artwork. And the guy that sculpted this is coming to dinner tonight, right? Yeah, yeah. he's gonna be over tonight. That's incredible. And then piano, pool table, another piano, another guitar. Yeah, this is my favorite part. Because when the party gets going, I like to be the barman. Because when you're not in the band, kind of really, like I play a bit of percussion, but it's not great. <laughs> So I spend more time just making sure everyone remains hydrated and creative. Shaken, not stirred. So I, exactly. Show them the cocktails. Uh, the wine cellar. Yeah, and my second favorite, <laughs> my storage cabinet, basically. The guy's storage cabinet is a multitude of like, options for come tonight. come on. So we'll put a dent in this later. I'm scared. This video will be sponsored by Electrolytes. Yes. I did bring it. I, oh, actually, did I? Oh, I might not have brought it. See if I can roll this in bottom yeah. corner first time. Show us something good. Ooh. Ah. Uh, uh, missed. Knock the blackboard in. It's not bad. Yeah, we're gonna have a lovely little weekend away Beautiful from the city. Hot tub action later. It's, oh yeah, he has a hot tub too. It's crazy how quiet. Like you could hear a pin drop outside even the older you get the more you appreciate like when i was younger you'd hear people talk about like oh upstate away mm -hmm. from the city and i'd be like oh, that sounds kind of lame yeah you get older and now i'm just like oh there's bad cell service and there's no one here perfect sounds like i sound like a like six year old man but sounds like the intro to a horror movie like <laughs> we'll, we'll return this one safely back yeah this well if you're watching this it means i survived oh and also happy birthday pat it's my dad's birthday today. Happy birthday, dad. He, he doesn't watch my vlogs. My mom will- Still happy birthday. Mom, show dad this clip. <laughs> Big Hamilton fan. If you want to get into the, you know, musical theater vibe tonight. I don't know that's the vibe tonight, but- Talking heads. The story of America then told by America now in an English accent. There you go. I'm partial to those. So I'm basically trying to be my inner Fred again. Jack again. Um, <laughs> it took us a while to hook this up to like the internal speaker, but basically it's just like an electric. Ooh. Oh my god, that just scared me. So yeah, welcome to the sub. Thank you. Paradise. I mean, it's just incredible being here. So much space to roam. And here we are. I'm pumped for dinner. Home for the weekend. Like the ceilings. How tall do you feel like the ceilings are? Well, as it's been well documented, I'm 5'11", not 6 foot. Yeah, Jack um, needs everyone to know that... So I'm 5'11", I'm a real 5'11". And if you're wondering why he's brought that up, for those that don't listen to the podcast... <laughs> like an inside joke now. On Hinge, when we first met, his profile said he was 6 feet tall. And I fully believed, I mean, I'm 5'5", five five. stand next to me, yeah. So... <laughs> I go on our first date and I don't feel like, I'm like, oh yeah, he seems like he'd be, I don't know, maybe he's six feet, I don't really know. We go to dinner with Adam, my best friend Adam. Cheers, Adam. And Blue mic cover. Adam, like we go through the whole night, he's like, loved Jack, listing all the positives, but he goes. He's a liar. But he lied. <laughs> I'm like, what did he lie about? Adam's like, well, he's clearly not five, or not six feet, he's clearly 5'11". And look, I'll explain <laughs> this with this. Yeah, why, not... why did you lie? So I'm not insecure about the height thing. I'm cool. I've got a brother that's six foot three. Like I've I've known my entire existence that I am. Well, I'm in this horrible category. I'm not a short king, but I'm also not six foot. So I'm just cut adrift at sea <laughs> in the five eleven abyss of just nothingness. It's tough. It's hard. Um, so keep going, boys. If you know. Yeah. You're in my category. All the 5'11 um, kings out there. All of that to say, before I met Katie, as you would do, right? You're on the dating apps, you're out with friends, and my friends were like, would have fun by like taking control of my app. Of course. And my seeing who I was speaking to, too. It's or like... you know, like seeing what your voice notes are or your jokes are, you know, just to see, see how you're selling yourself, basically, mm -hmm. and if they can give any pointers. Because mm -hmm. um, before I met this one, I was, I was quite unsuccessful. Um, so yeah, so I had like a brunch or something with friends, they were on the apps, and the girls there, the girls there were like, Jack, why are you marketing yourself as 5'11? And I was like, because I am. 
<laughs> you know, like it is what it says on the tin kind of thing. Like, yeah. I didn't want I didn't want to get caught out. And they were like, but they were like five eleven doesn't exist. And I was like, what do you mean? You do find this a lot. I was I mean, like, what do you mean? And they were like, okay, in the girl's, and you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, but they said in the girl's brain, if they see 5'11", they're like, that's a lie. You're probably 5'9". I was like, my honesty is basically putting me whatever. So then they, they called it the buffer. So apparently, and that's what I used it's to, a buffer. My, to my advantage and it worked. Um, so shout out the buffer and my friends. <laughs> I them. would have gone on a date with you if it said 5'11". Ba ba basically, the buffer <laughs> the buffer gives you an inch or two either side. It, it, the buffer, I think, is only critical if you're in the 5'11 range. Because if you're a true 5'11, like I am, yeah, and you're honest, people don't believe you. Well, I feel like it's the people that like really care about being with someone who's six feet tall. And I understand for the taller girls, they're like, they might be into that. As a five-five individual, five—I was always thinking to myself, like, you know, five-nine, five, five-ten, five, like that's whatever. I don't really care. All of that to say, back to the original question of inch. how how tall do we reckon the ceilings are? I, <laughs> I think there's maybe five of me. Less. Okay. I mean, it's hard to be. So, like, like thirty-foot ceilings. Is that crazy to say? Uh, 25? I reckon we're talking like 28 feet. I reckon we're talking 30. We should ask Guy, he'll know. Yeah. He'll know. But yeah. Anyway. That was a legit hype story that went, went around my group. The podcast loved that story. And it was quite funny because obviously when I then first started dating Kate in the early doors, they're like, oh, you know, ask, my friends asked me details around her, how the date's going. I'm like, well... <laughs> she has a dating podcast, so if you want to know the tea that I'm not Just willing listen. that I'm not willing to share, you can listen to that. My sister was very happy about that because I would not share information, and she was getting it straight from the source. So it was actually well received by and many of my circles. He was listening and didn't tell me until obviously fourth date. You imagine you're dating someone, you're like, "Am I doing this right?" Or does she think of this? And I, t I, I find say I find out, and I'm like, "Ooh, interesting. Okay." Yeah. And they were pretty positive reviews, so it was like a good, it was a good ego boost every Friday to be like, alright, match made, what have I done? But then Adam, Adam Harrison, <laughs> called me out and I was like, ah, the buffer? So yeah, it's a good like, running joke now. Well, yeah, not one, but two things on the dating apps with us that are like, remarkable is the fact, obviously, that you lied about your height, number one. And number two, that our first message was when, well, his first message to me, we matched, like I liked you, I guess, or I matched with you first, and then you messaged me and spelled my name K-A-T-I-E. I basically had the opportunity to send the first message and blew it, because I spelled her name wrong. You, do, you did blow it, because I read the message that you had sent, and I thought to myself, how dumb do you have to be? Not even dumb, just like how like... Obtuse. Just like rash to like just... <laughs> Type like you're t you're messaging so many girls that you can't keep us all straight and like it clearly says on my profile K A T Y and you go, hey, K A T I E how are you doing? I did do that. I did do that. But then There's, you, you there, saved there, yourself. There are there are receipts of me doing that. Um, well, actually not because I didn't end up screenshotting it. But we we know the story. All I know is I was like, <laughs> this is promising. Yeah. And then I was like, I don't get a message back. Okay, he, yeah, he was baffled. And then I, yeah. I evaluated my, my own performance <laughs> and, and realized it was off to a pretty rocky start. So I was like, well, I've got one or two options here. I right? own it mm -hmm. and, you know, take two. Or I just... Scrap it. Take the L well, and move on. So I was like, no, you know what? I'll, I'll eat some humble pie. I can, I can take that. Yeah. And then he said... You messaged me and you're like, if I didn't like blow my chances, hey Katie. No, I, I messaged you. What did you say? You, no, you, said, something, you, you said something funny. Something along the lines of I, I went well. Probably didn't help that I spelt your name wrong. Yes. Um, something like that where it was not, like. I said we're not off to a good start. That was what you said. But I'd be, you know, it's good more that, than happy to take you for a drink. <laughs> not my finest hour, but you know. You you carried yourself through. You picked it up and then yeah. you, there you go. And then. Six months later, here we are. I mean, Six months later, we are upstate. Upstate? 
in a gorgeous massive house with like a huge dream kitchen i was saying to jack i'm like if i had this kitchen like i'd have a designated spot for my crock pot i wouldn't have to like move stuff around every time i did something <laughs> like this is a dream it's a wild thing it's just like i'm like obviously i always wanted to live and move to new york and that's still the dream but the downside of new york is space and you are just kind of crammed into a box but, yeah. I, but I love it I, I i'm not complaining at all i wouldn't change it for right now i would not change it's it like you anything. live there for a reason but then you realize you're like oh my god well, no, like i have friends that you know space that, that are not that are not living in a big city and they have houses and they have, and then yeah. again you and get cars. you get older and you're just like like this, this is, is nice. pretty nice i should have this and i can decorate more walls yeah. Could actually paint. <laughs> but obviously very lucky to live in New York, like in the city. That's and it's such a dream. Oh no, that's the thing. But it's not it's not complaining, but it makes you appreciate like stuff the like out this. well, we get out the car here and it's like you take a deep breath and you're just like, hmm, fresh air. The air feels better. Like I've not br air. I've not had a good breath in I about feel like three weeks. I'll show you guys everything in the daytime because I think that'd be really cool. Yeah. No. We're gonna have a time. And if you're, you know, interested in seeing any of the footage of the music, I apologize. That's that's not allowed publicly. We're no, not. I, yeah. We're not great. I we're won't be. Great. I won't be posting that. Only that's for our own. To outtakes. save the lug nuts, we do exist. Your but egos. <laughs> wow. She she's worked hard to build her. You know. This. To where you are. One lug nuts live performance <laughs> might destroy it all. <laughs> so we'll keep that for um I'll keep it under wraps. The friends and family. That's private private viewing. The friends and family. That's I'll put it on my Patreon, just kidding. But that'd be something people would do. Anyway, okay, we're gonna get back to drinking wine and chilling and then we're gonna help make dinner and then eat it and then jam all night apparently and watch movies. Yeah. I'm excited. We're gonna jam. Alright. Until the next clip. Hello everyone, good morning. We are back in the city, as you can see, and it is Monday. I am going to brunch with Danielle, Carolyn, and Sarah Bell. It's an OG YouTube brunch of sorts, um, because Sarah just moved to the city, and I'm excited to see her, and we're going to Cafe Clooney in West Village. I need to put lipstick on and change my earrings. This is the outfit I've gone with. It's this asymmetrical sweater dress. The bottom part is like asymmetrical hem from Revolve. I think I'm gonna do some gold earrings maybe. Huh, I don't know. I'm actually really tired right now from the weekend. I feel like I always need after a trip a recovery day, but of course, you know, you don't get two Sundays um, reeling from that, but it was such a good weekend. I had such a good time and yeah, boys weekends are I mean, I've never been on one before. Like, me being the only girl and then all guys. Yeah, I mean, they're not, they are not for the week. Let me just tell you that. Guys can drink and they can stay up all night. And I'm like, <laughs> I need my beauty sleep. Yeah, I feel like that works. Like Pre-Valentine's Day look. Um, and then I'm gonna go. I'll film some clips out in the wild because it's actually such a beautiful day. Like, I feel so much more inspired to film outside my apartment when it's nice out because otherwise it's just like the city looks so drab <laughs> like <laughs> and it's one of those things where it's like it doesn't always look like that in real life but on camera I don't know it just like I just I want to do my city justice okay so the sunny weeks are when I feel much more inspired to film outside anyway okay so I'm gonna throw some lipstick on pack my purse put my shoes on and we're going to Cafe Clooney in the West Village and I will bring you guys along happy Monday